Okay, so I wanted to make an update to my blend shapes video for uh, the new Blender and uh, for Blender 2.78 and Unity 5.5. Um, everything has changed since that last video. That last video was about three years ago. So this is going to be a complete different, uh, you know, this everything has changed. So go ahead and launch Blender and then we're just going to go ahead and delete these two. The light in the system now i'm just going to stick with the plain cube because uh that's that's the easiest to to demonstrate things on now we're going to go ahead and create shape keys we're going to create a basis and then we're going to create another one and we're going to call this um long box and uh so depending on which one you have selected it's going to change the shape of the box. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. We're going to scale it on the Z and we're going to scale it by five. And as you can see right here, and it does this. All right. Uh, if you change the value, it's going to blend the two boxes based on the, um, the translation of the vertices between the two. So we're going to go ahead and save it. And we're going to save it as a simple box. Then we're going to go ahead and export it into our Unity, um, our Unity scene. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So we're gonna export the simple box as just this simple box. No animation, no anything. Now, what's cool about the updated version of Unity is that Unity now imports animations of this value. So you can actually animate this value inside a blender and it will change. It will be animated inside of unity. All right. And as soon as it's launched, we're just going to go ahead and go into unity and we're going to just move simple box into here. And as you can see, it has the blend shape over here. And previously, in the previous version of Unity, you would have to animate this inside of Unity using the animation tools. Uh, no longer do you have to do that. Uh, thankfully, it now imports it. But there's a certain trick that I discovered that you have to import the, um, uh, the blend shape animation. So I'm going to show you that. So inside of Blender, we're going to go ahead and just load up, uh, go into the animation screen. And so what you want to do is you want to export each animation separately into a different file. So we're going to save this as a separate file. We're going to save this as simple box at box grow. Now, Unity imports this as an animation. That's not an at symbol, that will be an animation symbol. So it's gonna say simple box blend. That's the that's the regular file. Simple box animation box grow dot blend. This is gonna be this is gonna tell Unity that this is the same box, simple box, but it's gonna add that box grow. So we go ahead and save it there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go down here. And we want to change this to dope sheet and we want to change this to action editor and we want to click new and this is just going to be an action we're just going to say long box action uh, you can name it whatever you want now let's go ahead and change some of these animation tools so we're going to go into here again go to object data we're going to make sure that long box is selected so I like to put the uh, automatic keyframe on. Now, what you're gonna have to do is, is press I when you're hovering over this to animate it. See how it turned yellow? Now, we go over here. We're gonna increase it to one. And then we're gonna go to the end. We're gonna decrease it to zero. And that should automatic, because this is turned on, I don't have to press I anymore over hovering over this. Now, as you can see, the animation is working. It's tweened just perfectly. Nice, fluid animation. Gets big, gets small. 
Very nice, very clean. Let's go and save it. Um, this is not going to work. It's not going to export this animation. Um, what's going to happen is, is it's not going to say anything. It's not going to have any animation. So what we have to do is we have to select the cube or you can create an empty cube, but, um, or you can create a, um, empty plane axes, but let's not worry about that. Now you're going to press I in order to create a keyframe. And since the cube isn't, isn't moving, it's not going to matter. See how it's all grayed out. This ensures that the keyframe data is actually exported. Okay. You have to have something or something in the scene. You can make a, you can make an empty plane axis, you know, and uh, you can have that in the scene. Um, play it out. You can do that and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't move. It's just an empty scene. You could do that, but let's get rid of that. I just animate this just for brevity. So just one object. So now we're going to export this as FBX. as simple box at box grow the same name that we saved it as we export it now we're going to go in here and we're going to see simple box right here and we want to select it in here and we want to go down to uh, you know motto make sure the import blend shapes is on see the rig generic um root node that none of that matters and now animations and so we have uh we have two it's gonna have two of those i don't know why it always imports two i'm just gonna delete that one source take long box so the take empty action would mean it's it's on the main timeline right there's basically two um exports that happen the main timeline that happens and then the action okay see empty action that shouldn't be there but it is so don't worry about it but we're just going to go ahead and do long box because i want the exact um, action to be applied here so you want to click on a uh, loop pose loop time and loop pose you know right there loop time loop pose. press apply so that it loops we can see that it loops perfectly yep Okay, goes up, goes down. Now what we want to do is we want to create, you want to go to create and you want to create animator controller. Uh, I already did that and you want to rename it to simple box. You want to click on that and now we have this and you want to click on here and now you have this long box animator right here, animation. So you just want to drag it into here and uh, base layer. So the entry is going to automatically clue, clue up to the entry. Um, since it's on repeat, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we can speed it up a little bit. So let's just do half time. Uh, actually, I think that's twice. Let's do two. I think that would make it faster. I can never remember if that's go faster or slower. All right, let's go to scene. Let's go ahead and play. And the blend shape should work perfectly. All right, it's going to take a little while to start up. There we go. Uh, motion cube long box. Oh, that's right. Okay, got it. Sorry. Simple box. You have to put the controller on here. Oops controller right there now it's gonna work okay uh, sorry uh that always gets me right there there it goes okay yeah two is faster okay great so there you go um you can animate your blend shapes inside of blender now you can just go right here if you animate your blend shapes it works perfectly now i wanted to share with you a little project of mine just to show you the power of of this is that I was working on this little character.
and I wanted to show that to you. Um, just just the power of doing doing blend shapes because blend shapes are really great when you want to move somebody's mouth. So here is Trump. Okay, here's a stupid little character. So I programmed it so that his mouth moves when I talk. Okay, so it just takes the input of the microphone and it moves the mouth up and down. And that is a blend shape right there. Here, let's take a look at it. And um, as you can see, see that? Open, the blend shapes, it's over here, the skin mesh ranger. Open is going up and down based on the volume of the microphone. And of course I can adjust the sensitivity and whatnot um, inside the editor. And that works perfectly. And his eyes close, you know, the simple animation stuff. But this mouth is the blend shape. And that's, you know, this is just a simple mouth. This is nothing really impressive. Um, let's see here, let's, let me show you. Yeah, see, now you can see the mouth moving. It's just a simple uh, 3D mouth. <laughs> it's just a simple 3D mouth. See that? It's just 3D. And it just moves up and down, up and down. Uh, depending on my voice. And I think it's pretty cool, but you can create cool uh, avatars for your YouTube videos. Uh, you can have this as your avatar instead of like showing your face or whatever you have. Um, you can just show an avatar and you don't, you don't have to use Trump or whatnot or any politician. You can just create like something cool, you know, like a cool character like Scorpio from, you know, Mortal Kombat or not Scorpio, Scorpion. That's the names, right? Sub Zero, Scorpion. Um, you can create some cool looking avatar and have him do your voice acting for you, for your YouTube videos or your video games or whatnot, whatever you're doing. Um, that is the power of blend shapes right there. That's why you should use blend shapes. And now that you can <laughs> animate, um, here, let's take a look at it. I have a, um, oh, where is it? controller i have a controller right here so in my controller oops animator idle right and eyes there's eyes open and close eyes and then the mouth and just like i, I use a blend tree and i open and close the mouth based on animation see that the animator it is animating based on open and close. So I have an open state and a closed state and it's open and closed, just like this, open and closed. And that is what controls the mouth movement is open and closed, open and closed. Here, I'll show you. So uh, it's, not, it's not animating while I'm animating in the game. Okay, uh, that sucks. Uh, let's see if it changes here. No, does it change? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I thought it would show the mouth moving like this, but it's not, it's not doing it. All right. Well, that's the whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and make another tutorial because blend shapes, you can get really into depth with blend shapes. You can have very complicated translations with your vertices with multiple. This is just up and down, right? This is this open and closed mouth. But what if you wanted something that was like super complicated? Um, like a face twisting or like some doorway bending into shape, you know, into a shape or something like that, you know, um, hands coming out of a wall, you know, some sort of blend shape where hands are like coming out at you. Um, that I will do in a later tutorials. Um, so go ahead and press like if you liked. All right. Bye.